Hey everyone, welcome. My name is Caleb. In this video, I'm going to be talking about what I'm studying this year. So these are technologies that I want to get better at or really start learning for the first time. All of this is built around a theme. So you know how a lot of people will pick a word of the year to kind of inspire them. Maybe it's grow or faithfulness. Mine is full stack web development. So that's everything I'm studying. And I already have a pretty okay understanding of the backend languages, and I have some understanding of JavaScript, but I haven't had a ton of experience applying these concepts and these principles to real world applications. I, this year, am going to be working on getting a deeper understanding of the backend technology, API design, and how to consume APIs properly from the front end and build really good applications. But that's not it. I want to take those applications and learn how to deploy them properly and do all the software development stuff that surrounds coding. Essentially, this year, I want to make it very practical. So as for backend, the technologies that I've been using and learning are Django, ASP.NET, Core MVC, and Node.js. But I don't just want to learn languages better. I want to have a better understanding of the details of authorization, rate limiting, API design, and how to actually make money with applications. For front end, you know, I just had to pick something. I've been putting it off way too long. I'm finally gonna learn React and I'm gonna learn it well. I just released one of my first React videos, which was kind of the takeaways I had from watching a three to four hour course. And I'm hoping to continue to release React videos as I get better. So. I'm really early on in the front end development, so most of this is just exploratory and figuring things out. Related to React, I'm interested in Next.js, so I want to learn a little bit more about how this fits in to the entire ecosystem and learn a bit more about server-side rendering. Now, I also want to study CSS, but I'm awful at it. Like, I'm just, I'm going to be honest, but I do have the ability to do basic designing. It's just, I don't really understand what I'm doing half the time. It's more just like, oh yeah, I've used this and I can probably do this. And with enough searching around, and piecing things together, I can usually get something working. But this year I want to understand all the different options and basically be able to make a web page without just copying and pasting stuff from the internet and then tinkering with it until it works and then never touching it again. Because that's pretty much been my strategy up to this point. Next thing I want to get better at is TypeScript. So obviously I've thrown out a lot of different things here and I don't think I'm gonna be able to master all of these, but I'm really just trying to get overall a better understanding of how things fit together. So I've used TypeScript, I've developed apps with TypeScript, but it's kind of like that thing with CSS. I don't super understand it all of the time. I usually just figure out how to get it working. And if I get an error, I do a little bit of research and fix the error. But if I'm going to be doing full stack web development this year, then I definitely want to understand the ins and outs of TypeScript. So this is closely related to JavaScript, which I'm going to be doing for front end for React anyways. So I think it'd be nice to do stuff React plus TypeScript. So those are the core languages or technologies I want to learn. Now there's a bunch of surrounding stuff I want to become better at, which has to do with optimization of websites. So for example, caching or Redis or Cloudflare or any of these other things that you can do to improve performance on a web page and possibly reduce costs if you deploy an application. These are the things I want to research so I have a better understanding of how to deploy real applications and, and spend as little money as possible using things like caching. So when it comes to deploying applications, I really want to familiarize myself most with AWS. That's what I've done the most on this channel. So I think it just makes sense to continue learning that. I think it's one of the most used cloud platforms. So it makes sense for my YouTube channel to make content that the most people are gonna benefit from. But also I just really like the AWS experience. So I want to learn more about the different services they offer, how to save costs and all the details of deploying applications. And then after all of this, if I'm bored, I might spend some time just to study application development principles. So how do you make a good application? How do you go from an idea to production while sticking to a timeline and so forth? So some of these surrounding things that you don't really think about as a beginner, but you know, maybe once you start releasing applications, you start to think a little bit more about. Those are some of the things I want to study maybe through podcasts or just more entertaining videos rather than reading a book. 
So if you guys have any suggestions for that kind of stuff, please drop me a comment in the comment section below. I would love to find a podcast that can help me learn about software development, but doesn't require like super hyper focus, like reading a book on some programming language requires. Because if I'm going on a run or something, it'd be nice to be able to kind of double dip and learn a little bit and get motivated while I'm also doing something else. All right, and then the last thing, which is sort of computer science-y related, but also more on the cryptocurrency Web3 side of things, is learning more about the Chia cryptocurrency. If you guys have been following along, I do some stuff with Chia. Pretty involved there, so I want to get a better understanding of how that blockchain works and see what kind of surrounding apps I could work on and maybe even look more into Chia Lisp and their smart contract capabilities. Okay, so I think I listed like 50 things. So am I gonna learn all those? Uh, probably not. I'll probably like get through one or two <laughs> and then we'll, we'll do the same video next year. But I'm hoping next year I can review and see how far I've actually come. If I ended up staying on the same route or if I ended up studying some other stuff, you know, I guess we'll just have to see. But definitely gonna try and stay focused on this goal for the year and I would appreciate any good resources or courses, anything to keep me motivated down in the comments section. I also want to know what your goals are, what you want to achieve by the end of the year. That'd be awesome to hear and would appreciate any cool stories or uh, things you really are striving to achieve. Well, that's all I got in this video. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to subscribe and peace out. Stay tuned for the next one.